head coach Joe Smith announcing the team for the weekend? Uh, the team to play this Saturday against South Africa is as follows. Um, Ken Healy, Rory Best and Tyke Furlong. Uh, Ian Henderson, Dev Toner, CJ Stander, Pete O'Mahony and Sean O'Brien. Um, and the backs are Connor Murray, Jonathan Sexton, Jacob Stockdale, Bundy Aki, Robbie Henshaw, Andrew Conway and Rob Carney. And on the bench are Rob Hearing, Dave Kilcoyne, John Ryan, James Ryan, Reese Ruddock, Kieran Marmion, Joey Carberry, and Darren Sweetnam. Joel, how serious is Yeah, I picked it up uh, on Tuesday. Um, and it, it was a surprise to him and a surprise to us, obviously. It's a hamstring injury. And... I think it's it's going to make it a certainly a struggle for next week and potentially the week after. So uh, he, he would be in doubt for the series at that at this point. How much of a blow is it for him, Joe, given that he's been one of the informed winners? He's absolutely flying so much, and he must be devastated. Yeah, disappointed. Um, he was sensational for us in Japan. Uh, I thought uh, not only his on-field actions, but the way he led the young players. And, and that was another role that he had uh, fully embraced in, in this camp. And uh, so that's a disappointment for us as well. But uh, he, he's, he's the consummate professional. He, he's a class player. He's got that rapid acceleration that always makes him a threat. And um, you know, we'll miss that. But what a fantastic opportunity for Andrew Conway and, and Darren Sweetnam, two of his Munster teammates. To, to try to step up and grasp what is a fantastic opportunity. Uh, the name of Bundyaki is obviously going to get attention. That he, he's, he is named in the team. There's been so much talk about the residency rule. What do you expect him to, to bring on Saturday? Um, I think his combination with Robbie is, it, has been something that we've noticed in training when he's gone in and out of the, uh, of the various combinations. Uh, I, I think he, he brings a, a calmness, actually, uh, you know, he, he, he has some really good experience in, uh, in some pretty high-level games. He is very experienced playing against um, kind of the, the s southern teams. And um, I, I know Jared Payne made his debut against the Springbok. Uh, it was a similar sort of situation. Jared also had some real experience against the South African sides, and, and Bundy brings that as well. So... Uh, that familiarity just probably gives us a, a little bit more confidence about him knowing what, when and how things are, are likely to occur. And you mentioned the younger players, Jacob Stockdale gets the nod. How much has he progressed since you named him in the squad at the start of the summer? Yeah, he, he progressed through that tour really well. We were really impressed with Jacob and uh, you know, he's, he's such a positive young man. He's, he's looking to improve himself all the time. Um, and he's got things to learn. You know, he, he, he would acknowledge he's not the finished article, but how do you become that? You become it by, by having some tough moments and tough games, and I've no doubt there'll be, there'll be times he'll find himself on Saturday uh, having to make very quick decisions and, and being accurate, as well as using his, his size and strength, which, uh, which we know he, he brings to the game really well. Rob Carney at fullback, what do you like about him? What does he bring to the team? Well, you know, this time last year, I think people were, were questioning Rob's involvement, and I don't think we, I don't think we went in Chicago without him. I, I think he had a couple of really pivotal moments in the game, beating Ben Smith to the kickoff, uh, his run to set up CJ Stander when, before he scored. You know, those are the sort of attacking threats in the air and on the ground that he brings, but also that experience. You know, we've got two, Andrew Conway, very inexperienced. His his debut was in March against England, which is a pretty big game for him to come into for 40 minutes. Uh, again, replacing Keith Ewers at that point. So for, for those guys who are going to be in the back three, um, I, I think Rob's going to be really important, helping, helping to navigate them around the pitch. You've got a nice balance in that back line between Rob and then Andrew, who's you know, really come on defensively, as you've mentioned. And Jacob, obviously. Robbie and Bundy in the centre of your halfback there is something we need to see anymore. Is, is that what you were looking for, kind of a, a balance that they can do a bit of everything? Uh, yes and no. We were looking for, uh, first of all, form players. We wanted, we wanted to reward players who had been going well for their provinces. Um, 
and I think we also wanted to keep some experience. And uh, I, th I think we got a bit of both and the guys like Connor and Johnny and, and Robbie. And uh, at the same time, Rob Carney brings that experience and, and we know that he, he can play uh, fresh up fast from the, from the start. So we, we felt we had that. And then in around that, there's some, there's some new faces or recent faces that I think will benefit from that combination. And you know, the forward pack, I think people were talking a, a lot about who we left out last year, uh, the likes of Sean O'Brien and Pete O'Mahony. And I, I think we're very much focused on who is in there, who's in the frame right now, and, and how can we help them develop and how can we challenge them during the week because they're certainly going to be challenged enormously on, on, on Saturday. How difficult is it saying your first game as a unit together for such a long time? We, we saw it in Chicago last year. It didn't affect you too badly. Is there a difficulty? Is there maybe even an advantage? Um, it's a bit more complicated than last year, I think, for us. We got away in the summer to South Africa. We had a, a, you know, a successful series in that we, uh, we had a lot of new players in the, in the group and they really grew during that period. This time we've got to merge two teams together. Uh, you know, Robbie was away with the Lions. Um, we had 10 guys uh, out of the group. So we're trying to merge those, those two groups together effectively, which is a little bit more complicated. So um, ho hopefully... It, it, They'll galvanise themselves over the next 48 hours to build into the game and, and we'll see some cohesiveness, cohesiveness uh, that will give us a bit of confidence early in the game and, and hopefully we can use that as a springboard to get into the game. Joe, uh, no Jack McGrath and Cox could have been played properly. Um, Jack didn't train last week. He had a knock in the hip and, and it was really around that. Uh, you know, it, Ken has been going very well, and Dave Kilcoyne has been going very well. And as I said earlier, you know, the form was, was a factor as it always is, and, and, and those two have been going really well. Jack, we know his quality. We, we know that he'll, he'll be back and, uh, and, and give us a lot of value. But he's only just back uh, training fully um, and, and only just back taking contact. And one thing you can be assured of when you play South Africa is contact often and... and uh, and fairly rapid. So we mentioned there about Derek Hayes in his debut a few years ago against South Africa. There seems to be a lot more space this time about Kunji Asimi in his debut. With all that extra extra space, just the relevant to you, do you try to take that those steps available to the team for this year? Yeah, I, I, it's never irrelevant. I, I wouldn't think that it is irrelevant. And I think, uh, you know, there, there was a piece done today about, you know, the percentage of qualified players that, that have actually uh, been used. And, and, and a few of the guys who who weren't born in New Zealand, but the, the likes of the Jamie Heeslips and, and the like, who, who couldn't really be much more Irish, but he was born in Israel. It, you know, I, I think sometimes where you're born is, is less relevant to, to where you've invested over the last period of time. And uh, I, I think Bus Bundy has invested incredibly well in the West. Uh, they have benefited from his experience, his commitment and his durability. Bundy has played an immense amount of minutes for Connacht and he rocks up and he plays week to week to week. And so, you know, I, th I think it is it's sometimes an unfortunate distraction. I, I do feel a little bit of sympathy for, for Bundy himself because he, he's just doing what he loves doing and, he, and what he's very good at. And so, you know, we hope it doesn't distract him because I, I think there's certainly no question in the, in the player's mind, in the group's mind, that they're excited to have him in the group. And, and we're excited about, you know, I, I think uh, Stu McCloskey and, and, and uh, Chris Farrell in the group as well. They, that has been a really good battle during the last sort of uh, three or four trainings. And so we expect that to continue. And we'd expect that, that there'd be an opportunity for all those guys to have some involvement. Last couple there. Robbie, did you, did you always be his heir? Did you think you would that you would play alongside uh, Bundy in the central final? Um, no, I didn't see the day coming, but uh, you know it's it's great to be linking up with him again. It's been a couple of seasons now, but um, you know he's he's a class player, and um, I enjoy playing off him, feeding off him. Um, he's added real value to our group, and the boys have uh, enjoyed his company here. So I'm um, really looking forward to to having him on the pitch and letting him express himself um, against the South Africans because he has that experience uh, in the past playing in Super Rugby, and um, you know he'll he'll bring real uh, energy to our group. Robbie, have you been a bit annoyed with the state of regards, Bundy? Because obviously you've, you've played with him, you've seen as Joe's outlined what he's brought to the West. He's 
you become a real Westie. Um, have you been annoyed by the debate? Not necessarily. I haven't been really following it, to be honest. Um, I've just been keeping my head down, training, training away, and uh, just just keeping to my own stuff. But um, you know, I, I know him so well, and he's a great friend of mine. Um, so to have him in, I was really excited to have him in. And I think a player like that can only can only improve our team. So you know, us as players going forward, we want to be the best we can be. We want to be the most competitive group. So I think that's the, that's how I see it. Have you just picked up where you left off and just kind of instantly kicked back into gear? Ah, there was a few touch-ups here and there. It wasn't uh, plain sailing, but uh, yeah, it's been, there's been a lot of questions from him, and he's been wrecking my head a little bit over the last two weeks, getting to know the things. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's been it's been pretty good. Um, you know, we're we're building nicely for for the weekend. Okay, guys, we'll shut down this section. If the